said in previous rounds that you hadn't gotten yourself sufficiently pumped up yet uh, in the U.S. Open, but uh, the crowd and Jimmy Connors well, pumped you up in the fourth uh, in the fourth set. Well, uh, I had so many chances there. I thought <clears throat> I had 15:40 the first game he served, and 15:40 the next time he served, and 30:40 again when he served, and uh, it's a uh, uh, maybe I was getting overly pumped. I was getting so excited and get, wanting to get in there so bad that maybe I was rushing a little bit too much and trying to make too good a shot too soon. At, uh, at the end there, when I did break a serve, I kind of took my time and just hit the shot and came in. And uh, if he passed me, he passed me. But as it worked out, he didn't do it. Now, you are 8-1 mm -hmm. and one with Lendl, 11-8 and eight with McEnroe, although Lendl beat you pretty badly back in Cincinnati. Who, do you, who would you like to meet in the final? Well, I had the rest of the day off. I don't really care to think about it, but... Uh, I think they're going to have a good match. Uh, if, if Max playing well and serving well, it's going to be difficult on uh, Lindell to return the ball, which is uh, what he probably does the best. And uh, this court is a little bit faster. It, it uh, suits McEnroe a little bit. He's played awful well here, but then again, Lindell beat him last time here in the Davis Cup. So I think it's going to be a hell of a match. It doesn't matter who I play, really. You're going to get a chance to take a trip up into the booth uh, with our guys for the McEnroe Lindell match? Uh, well, I may uh, end up up there. I'd like okay. to go up and maybe watch a little bit. So if they let me come up there, I'd like to come. Okay. Thanks again, Jimmy, okay. and congratulations. Let's and a quarter hours. And he serves down the middle and brings up yes. Connors has won and completely overcome by the moment. And after eight years, Jimmy Connors has won back the Wimbledon Championship. I felt at that time, I said, you know, that's what I waited eight years to do again and, uh, you know, to win a Wimbledon and I uh, worked hard at it and it worked. Many thought Connors would take the tennis world by storm after beating Ken Rosewall in the 1974 Wimbledon final. Whether it was that prospect or Connors' brash ways, he wasn't readily accepted. I was probably the most unpopular champion uh, of any Wimbledon ever uh, for a number of reasons. One, because of my age. Two, because I beat Rosewall, and, who had been in the finals a number of times but had never won. Connor's behavior since that first Wimbledon title didn't endear him to tennis traditionalists. He wasn't refined. Jimmy's going over to make sure they look. He has been outrageous. Mr. Connors. Mr. Connors, your attention, please. Mr. Connors, you really had no right to do that, although you did it in fun. At times, sarcastic. What did you say? I give you a code right here. Oh, thank you very much. Sometimes his behavior has bordered on violent, like when he lost the 1977 U.S. Open final to Guillermo Vilas. I still do my share of ranting and raving and uh, yelling and screaming and so forth. It's not good for me to keep anything in, even today. It's better for me to let it all out and get it out of my system and, and come back and continue playing at the next point. Despite an inability to win again at Wimbledon, Connors sparked an interest in the game among the everyday sports fan. His forum became the U.S. Open, where he won three titles. New York was where the Connors brand of play gained acceptance. I enjoy playing in front of the crowds in New York. The people there are crazy. Yeah, they, en they enjoy people going out or uh, in tennis or hockey or baseball or anything, and two guys just beating the heck out of each other and seeing blood and everything, and, and that's my kind of atmosphere. And someone who is always there cheering Jimmy's every movement on the court is lovely Patty Connors. And Patty, Tony Trabert said an interesting thing during the match against Vilas, how a loved one suffers during a tennis match. Uh, is that true as you're watching Jimmy and his uh, struggles? It's very true. It's a lot easier if you're out there playing because you can get rid of your frustrations and your anxiety and your nervousness because you're concentrating. But if you're sitting there watching someone and you can't do anything to help them if they make mistakes or like, you know, you just want to yell encouragement like, get your first serve in or... It's very nerve-wracking. How would you analyze the VLOS match? 
I think Jimmy played very well. The second set, um, I think Vilas tried to, to mix up his game a little bit. He started serving like moon balls and, and softer. He wasn't hitting all out like he did the first set. I think he tried to change it when it was effective, but only for one set. Patty, who would you like to see Jimmy play in the finals, John McEnroe or Yvonne Lindell? Either one. Either one. All right. Patty.